For those of you that are looking to apply for your next credit card with Navy Federal but are unsure on when is a good time to apply, then I got you. I'll be showing you guys when is a good time to apply, but not only that, I'll get you guys ready and prepared for it so that way you guys can avoid getting denied when applying for your next credit card with Navy Federal. And I'm going to be dropping some gems in this video, so make sure to pay attention and watch this video all the way to the end so that way you don't skip out on any valuable information that can help you out. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sandiford and you are now watching Just Money where we talk about finance related topics such as personal and business credit real estate and other financial related topics so if that's something you're into then you're probably gonna want to consider subscribing but without further ado let's get into today's video okay so first and foremost I just want to let everybody know that Navy Federal Credit Union will only allow you to have up to three personal unsecured credit cards with them so if you're new and you just joined Navy Federal and you're expecting to have like four or five different credit cards with them then I hate to be the one to break it down to you but I will say though if you own a business then you're eligible to receive another three credit cards on the business business side though. So you'd have your three personal cards and then your three business cards. Now Navy Federal has something called a 91-3 rule and for those that don't know what in the world that is, let me quickly go over it for you guys. So you can apply for your next credit card with Navy Federal or a credit limit increase 91 days and or three full billing statements after the day that you got approved from your last credit card with them or from your last credit limit increase with them as well. And this same rule is going to apply whether you're applying for your second credit card with Navy Federal or your third credit card with Navy Federal. However, I do feel like this rule only applies to you if you don't have good credit. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. If you have bad credit, you're probably going to want to be a little bit more patient when applying for a new credit card with Navy Federal or a credit limit increase with them. And especially if you're applying for your first credit card with Navy Federal. Now, if you have good credit already, then you can apply for your first, your second, or even third credit card with Navy Federal a whole lot sooner than waiting the 91 days, which was actually, in fact, what I did with my first credit card with Navy Federal, the Platinum credit card. I got that card probably like three weeks in. I will say for credit limit increases, though, I would still wait over 91 days to to apply for a credit limit increase whether you have good credit or whether you have bad credit and whenever you guys decide to apply for a credit limit increase make sure that you guys do it on the app i cannot stress this hard enough if you guys do it on the app then it's going to be a soft pull on your credit if you guys call or go in a branch then it's going to be a hard pull on your credit and you don't want a hard pull so do it on the app guys but to get approved for these personal credit cards with navy federal it really just depends all on your credit score and the relationship that you build with navy federal and also not to mention internal points as well so depending on what your internal points are with navy federal will determine your eligibility of having a new credit card with them. If you guys frequently watch my videos, then you already know that Navy Federal has their own internal scoring system that ranges anywhere from 100 to 450 points. And you typically want to be above the 250 point range for best chances of approval. If you have a high Navy Federal credit score, then you're going to be receiving favorable terms and conditions. Now, if you have a low Navy Federal credit score, then you're not going to be receiving anything. Or if you do, they're not going to be really desirable terms and conditions. So let me show you a few ways how to bring your internal score up. One, make sure that the balance status on any of your Navy Federal accounts are in good standing. This is gonna go for checking and savings accounts, credit cards, loans, all that. So just make sure that you guys are making all of your payments on time and don't be in the negatives because being in the negatives is the worst thing that you can do. Okay, now number two, have a variety of loan accounts open so that way you can show them that they are your primary bank. Because if you watch my channel, then you already know that credit unions, they tend to be relationship based. So just have a few accounts open with them. And a quick example that I would recommend doing is getting something called a pledge loan, aka a secured savings loan. And if you guys are unsure on what a pledge loan is, then I recently made a full in-depth video. Feel free to browse my channel or hit the link in the description below it'll be the first link so click that link below if you guys do not know what a pledge loan is but another thing that you guys can do to build a higher internal score with navy federal so that way you guys can get approved for those credit limit increases or those high limit credit cards is set up your direct deposit with navy federal guys i cannot stress this hard enough set up that direct deposit with navy federal forget about what other financial institution that you have your direct deposit set up with and set it up with navy federal instead this is like the main important thing that you should be doing because this will be showing navy federal two things. One, it shows that you have consistent money coming in. And two, it shows that you're a dedicated member with them. So set that direct deposit up with Navy Federal now. And also, if you guys are finding any of this information helpful, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button. I would truly appreciate that because it really helps me out a lot. But anyways, another way to build those high internal points with Navy Federal so that way you guys can get approved for those credit cards is to limit the inquiries that you have on your credit report. Do not have a lot of inquiries on your credit report. And not only for Navy Federal, but for other lenders out there as well. Too many hard inquiries on your credit profile file never looks good to other lenders out there. So if you currently have some hard inquiries on your credit report and you know they're going to be coming off really soon, then I would just wait until then to apply. And I'm making this video because I always get people in the comments, ish, when should I apply for a credit limit increase? Ish, when should I apply for a new credit card? So I just kind of wanted to make this video real quick just to shed some light on this topic. But one thing I will say before I end this video is that everybody should be
be going for the Navy Federal Trifecta at the end of the day. And why, you may ask? Because these are the absolute best three credit cards that you can have with Navy Federal, hands down. That's why. The Navy Federal Trifecta is going to consist of the flagship rewards credit card, the more rewards credit card, and the platinum credit card. Those are the absolute top three best credit cards that you should be aiming to have with Navy Federal. And I made a full in-depth video on what the Navy Federal Trifecta is, so feel free to browse my channel or hit the link in the description below. It will be the second link. Also, bonus information, Navy Federal has a pre-qualification tool that you can go ahead and use to see if you qualify for the credit card before you end up applying for it. So if you want to see if you qualify for the credit card first without it doing a hard pull on your credit, then I would highly recommend that you guys use this pre-qualification tool. But let me know in the comments below what Navy Federal credit card are you going to be applying for next? I would like to know. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, then I truly do appreciate you guys. We are at 25,370 subscribers at the time of this recording, so I do appreciate all who watch. I do post weekly videos for those that don't know, and if you guys haven't yet already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, so that way you guys get notified every time I ish post a new video. And again, we talk about personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics, so if that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. We talk about how to get high limits on your guys' credit cards, we talk about how to boost your personal credit, how to obtain business credit, we talk about real estate, we talk about mortgage loan programs, we talk about all that, so this is your one-stop shop. And for those that don't know, I'm a licensed realtor, a real estate agent, and I'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator, so if you guys have any questions in regards to real estate, then all my information is in the description below. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.